Welcome to the Dr. Doug Show, Bones, Hormones, and Health Span. In this show and podcast, we're going to dig into specific topics around osteoporosis reversal. We're going to dig into hormone optimization and replacement for women specifically through the time frame of midlife and beyond. And we're going to do that through the lens of health span. Because let's face it, if we optimize your hormones, if we reverse osteoporosis, but we do so at the expense of your heart or your brain, we didn't do you any good. So we're specifically going to dig into our framework around osteoporosis reversal. We have an entire practice built around this with practitioners, dietitians, uh, coaches that are helping people to reverse osteoporosis, the vast majority of them without drugs. So we're going to talk about the framework, the research that supports that, and any new research that comes up over time. For hormone optimization, we're going to talk about the space that is so controversial, a space that is filled with so much fear, so much anxiety, and so much misinformation. My training in this space has brought me to the point where I feel like the traditional medical model is misserving or just not serving so many women, either through the wrong type, the wrong form, the wrong route, uh, the wrong amount, um, and not using potentially things like testosterone, which are indicated in way more women uh, for various reasons, which we're going to talk about. So we really want to dig into hormone optimization again in that time frame from around 40 when things really start to change through perimenopause into menopause and then beyond. So we're talking about optimization with or without actual hormones, what we can do to support women as they go through this change, and then potentially replacement and all of the risks and benefits associated with things. And there's so much information in here that is just not out there for women. And I really look forward to sharing that with you. And then lastly, we're going to talk about health span because ultimately questions come up in this space. Like <clears throat> if I went on estrogen and it had an impact on my cholesterol, which impact is more important than the others? If my LDL went up, but my triglycerides went down and my HDL did this and all of those things. So we're going to talk about the topics of health span, which is going to touch on anti-aging and longevity. So many fun topics. I really look forward to bringing all this to you. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this content. Let us know what you think. Leave us comments. We love the community that we built around this thing. So I look forward to hearing from you and presenting this material to you.